down the stairs. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gregory Bovid, and on behalf of all of us up here on the stage, welcome to this jolly holiday performance of the Midland Concert Band. That opening selection you just heard was Festival Fanfare for Christmas by John Wasson. It's a holiday sampler with just a few of the musical treats that we have in store for you this afternoon and it was played under the direction of our concertmaster, Mr. Nathan Snyder. Impossible as it may seem, we once again find ourselves in December. Christmas Eve is just two weeks from today. Have you got all your shopping done? <clears throat> well, whether you've already made your holiday preparations or maybe you're just taking a much needed break we are ever so happy that you joined us this afternoon. As always, we want to stir up some memories from Christmas's past, as well as boost your holiday spirit for these last two weeks before the big day. We want to begin by publicly thanking and recognizing some great folks for helping make today's concert possible. Special thanks to Dr. and Mrs. Arthur Frock for sponsoring this performance. We truly appreciate all of the support that they continue to provide for the band. We also want to send a special shout out to the Home Depot for providing these beautiful poinsettias that you see here on the stage. Now if you were here early, you probably heard just trombones playing in the lobby. Always a great warm up for our holiday program, which in addition to the full band, today is going to feature our MCB Jazz Band. And, of course, it would not be a Christmas party without a visit from a certain very jolly guest. Now, as we begin our Yuletide celebration, I need your help with a couple things. First of all, if you haven't already done so, please silence your cell phones. Second, please do not use flash photography during the performance. And finally, I ask you to join me in welcoming a great trumpet player and a particularly important member of the Midland Concert Band, our director, Mr. Joel Wiseman. Honor America, please rise as you are able and join in singing our national anthem.
Well, we're going to start our program this afternoon with three selections for you. I'm sure you've noticed that once again we're in the middle of a December that has not been the best for snow lovers. Just imagine, though, gliding over the fields and breaking through the drifts in a sleigh drawn by a team of three magnificent horses. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Although we can't take you for a real ride this afternoon, we have the next best thing. It's a musical midnight sleigh ride with a 1990 arrangement of Sergei Prokofiev's Troika, titled Midnight Sleigh Ride. Now, every who down in Whoville loved Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. And so begins that Dr. Seuss tale about the Grinch, this greasy black banana peel of a character who discovers that the spirit of Christmas doesn't matter, but it lives in the hearts of Who's and Grinches alike. Our second selection this afternoon includes several tunes from the animated TV special. You'll surely recognize Welcome Christmas and You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, in addition to Trim Up the Tree and some other music from this 1966 classic. Now, our third selection is going to be Stille Nacht, or Silent Night, if you prefer. That tune was written on Christmas Eve in 1818 in Oberndorf, Bavaria. But by 1955, that little carol had become the most recorded song of all time. You know, Silent Night has been translated and rewritten in over 230 languages. And in whatever language you sing it, Stille Nacht is a song that can truly be described as an anthem of Christmas time. The band has selected a Chip Davis arrangement for this afternoon's program, one that you may recognize as being recorded by Mannheim Steamroller. Back to the music now with Midnight Sleigh Ride. Thank you. 
Well, the, uh, the world is a very different place today than it was when our next selection was first performed 79 years ago. At that time, Alfred Reed was a 23-year-old member of the 529th Army Air Corps Band, and he created his much-loved Russian Christmas music for a concert in Denver that was meant to acknowledge Russia's contribution to World War II. Now, the concert also aimed to improve Soviet-American relations, and uh, as such, it was to include premieres of new Soviet and American works. Sergei Prokofiev's March, Opus 99, was supposed to be the Russian work, but it was discovered that the work had already been performed in the United States. So 23-year-old Alfred Reed was assigned to write a new piece in eh, about 16 days before the concert. Combining an ancient Russian Christmas carol, a good deal of original material, some borrowed material, and some elements from the Russian Orthodox liturgy, Reed formed this impression of Old Russia during the jubilant Christ Christmas season. The piece was first performed on December 12th, 1944, and nationally broadcast on NBC Radio. Now, although the work is performed as a single movement, there are four distinct sections that you should be able to recognize. The children's carol, antiphonal chant, village song, and the closing cathedral chorus. Russian Christmas music by Alfred Reed. Now, following this selection, we're going to take a 15 minute intermission.
the Midland Concert Band has regularly featured a jazz band at our concerts. Now, you know, musicians come and go, and uh, interest in performing big band or jazz tunes kind of waxes and wanes over the years. But I can tell you that beyond all doubt, right now, interest is high. And what's more, we have a fantastic group of players over here and a great guy to lead them. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the MCB Jazz Band and their conductor, Jacob Weisenbach. Hello, everybody. So the program will state that there's not a lot of Christmas music on the program for the Jazz Band, but we couldn't do this concert without having one holiday tune. So this is Here Comes Santa Claus. Close, Jacob. Weisenbach? Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. The, the last time I saw you, you didn't have any of these. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a wonderful ensemble you have here. Is Joel around anywhere? I haven't seen him. Well, it's a good thing. Joel had a little difficulty with this next part of the program here. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know. I always love to check the director's Christmas spirit. So I have some questions for you, Jake. Okay, where do polar bears vote? The North Pole? Yes, give them a big hand, absolutely yes. <laughs> if athletes get athlete's foot, what do astronauts get? Space feet? No, mistletoe. Oh yes, oh my goodness, okay, and then what Christmas carol is a favorite of parents? I don't know. Silent Night. Yes, indeed, okay. Oh, and then what kind of candle burns longer? A red candle or a green candle? The red one. Neither, they both burn shorter. Oh my goodness gracious, yes, oh yes. And then what do you call a bunch of grandmasters of chess bragging about their games in a hotel lobby? What do you call that? I don't know. Chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that one of Santa's reindeer now works for Procter & Gamble? Which one? Comet. He cleans sinks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. And what, where does a reindeer go if they lose their tail? Where do they go? To a retail shop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, and then lastly, some advice from the elves. Never catch snowflakes on your tongue until all of the birds have flown south. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know, Dasher and Dancer brought me in today. Do you know how many days there is until Christmas? 20, mm, 17? 15 days, and I may be back to your house. May be back to your house. It depends on what happens next. You know, I'm missing an awfully wonderful reindeer. Do you guys know that song? You know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Oh, yes. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. 
all of the other reindeer he used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, oh, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, oh, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Let's give Jacob a big hand. <laughs> oh my, yes. What'd you say? No, 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 you get to keep the nose. Santa doesn't recycle, oh my goodness. Oh, oh good. Thank you. Did this you bring your trombone? It's so cool. You know, did I bring my trombone? Yeah. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, Santa plays the trombone. It's very hard to breathe in this thing. <laughs> Ooh, good. So Santa is going to sit in with us on the next tune. This is uh, The Night Before Christmas in Tunisia. Oh, I mean, A Night in Tunisia by Dizzy Gillespie. Thank you. 
I couldn't necessarily play while I had this thing on my nose. Mr. Jeff Grassel on the alto saxophone, or the tenor saxophone, my bad. Mr. Jason Bennett on the soprano trombone. Thank you, Santa, for sitting in with us. Well, my goodness gracious, what a privilege. Let's give the little band and the big band another rousing hand. <laughs> well, with only 15 days left till Christmas, oh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the program from the back. I'm looking forward to seeing you out in the lobby. And remember, Santa loves cookies. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you very much, everybody. Now, to close out our section of the program, we're going to play the next two tunes. The first one is Blood Count by Billy Strayhorn. That's going to feature Mr. David Bile on the alto saxophone. And the tune after that is Tipping on the QT by Buck Clayton, but it was played by the Count Basie Orchestra. That's going to feature Mr. Aaron Enzer on the trumpet, Jeff Grassel on the tenor saxophone, and Mr. Nathan Dowlin on the piano. Thank you.
Green file, everybody. Mr. Aaron Enzer on the trumpet, Jeff Grassl on the tenor saxophone, Nathan Dowlin on the piano. Thank you very much. The Midland Concert Band will be right with you.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please once again welcome to the stage the director of the Midland Concert Band, Mr. Joel Wiseman. Spain and Portugal have given us music a bit different from the rest of Europe, even when that music is written in a European style. This is the result of the unique blend of cultures that inhabited the Iberian Peninsula for a number of centuries. Christmas music, then, from this region, also reflects that unique blend. In some cases, we have compositions influenced by Spanish colonies in the New World, which often reflect some of the indigenous music as well. What this has left us with is a lively group of Christmas songs, of which Rio Rio Chiu is probably the best known. Originally, this was a Spanish villanchico, a vernacular song based on medieval dance forms. But this early 16th century song is a very rare thing. It's a song about the immaculate conception that you can actually dance to. Andrew Wainwright has captured that spirit in our next selection titled Spanish Dance. Well, following Spanish dance, we're going to play another well-known tune for you. Around 150 years ago, a Philadelphia minister by the name of John Mason Neal wrote and published two songs that soon became interwoven with the fabric of our Christmas traditions. The first of these was the carol Good King Wenceslas, which unfortunately isn't on today's program. However, the second of Neal's works, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, is on the program, and that will be our second selection this afternoon. This favorite Advent hymn combines a translation of a 9th century Latin text with a 15th century plain song melody. The text is based on the biblical prophecy from Isaiah, where Isaiah writes, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, that is, God with us. Our program continues then, our second selection rather, is a contemporary arrangement of this familiar carol titled Fantasy on O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Thank you. 
Well, as usual, before we get to our final selection, there's a few business items we have to take care of. First, be all on half of, first of all, on behalf of the entire band, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to join us this afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed this holiday celebration and that at least in some small way we have added to your enjoyment of this most wonderful time of the year. I say this after every concert, it's nothing new. If you've been here and you've heard me over the last uh, 28 seasons, I know you've heard this message. But especially at this holiday time, it's you, the audience, that makes these performances so much fun. And today, in the spirit of this wonderful season, once again, we've had far more than our share. Once again, we want to thank Dr. and Mrs. Arthur Frock for sponsoring this performance. And again, thanks to the Home Depot for our very festive poinsettias. Special thanks are in order this afternoon to our jazz band and their director, Jacob Weisenbach. Thanks also to Santa for stopping by to officially certify our Christmas spirit. And of course, we want to thank Just Trombones for their pre-concert music and our trumpet ensemble for their part in today's program. 
Last but certainly not least, we don't want to forget our ushers, our stage crew right here at the center, and all those other people who work behind the scenes. Thanks as well to the great crew from MCTV for all of their fine work recording, producing, and broadcasting our performances. If you know of any Midland County High School band students, grades 9 through 12, that might be interested in applying for an MCB scholarship, would you please encourage them to check with their local band director? Uh, information regarding this annual program is also available on our website, www.midlandconcertband.com. And finally, please make sure to mark those new 2024 calendars for our next performance on the afternoon of Sunday, March 24th, 3 p.m., right here at the center. So until we see you again, here's wishing you a very merry and a blessed Christmas and much joy in the new year. Now it's time for you to perform. Could we have the house lights up a little bit, please? You know, Christmas is a season richly steeped in tradition, and certainly, as we have affirmed this afternoon, the music of Christmas is an integral part of that tradition. Singing those carols is something that nearly everyone enjoys, and is it because those old songs stir up such rich memories? Is it because of the happiness, or the love, or the joy, or the hope that's conveyed in the words and the melody? Well, for whatever reason you like to sing Christmas carols, Here's a chance to sing with the band. Our final song, uh, our final uh, selection rather, contains seven favorite Christmas tunes. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, O Come All You Faithful, Deck the Halls, Silent Night, The First Noel, Joy to the World, and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. The words are printed in your program. They'll also be on the screens up in the corners. Joel will cue you when it's time to come in, so relax. Take a deep breath and get ready to sing. Merry Christmas, everybody.
there is one more tune that any band concert would just not be the same without. One more, one more Leroy Anderson tune. Do you have time? <laughs> 